Okay, this is Charles with the Indus here. Um, I haven't done a video since December of 28, December 28 of 2021, so it's been a while. I've updated my community page and I've posted a few comments here and there. Um, I guess my channel never really took off, and that's partly my fault because I, you know, I'm such a perfectionist. I want to make everything right. And so um, the last video I worked on forever and, you know, never got done as a result. But anyway, uh, something's happened today in the world of comics that I just can't ignore. Uh, we've lost Ed Piscor, which is just a huge, he's probably one of the biggest figures in comics. Um, if you remember back in, I believe it was 01 or 2000, you know, I'm, my family's a race car, you know, that, well, I've got a brother that builds a race car every year. Anyway, um, if you remember when Dale Earnhardt passed away, you know, there was a man that came out and said, you know, this is the hardest, um, announcement I've had to make Dale Earnhardt. We've lost Dale Earnhardt. Um, you know, Piscor has become one of the big guys in comics. I mean, um, maybe the Earnhardt comparison is not super perfect, but it, it's, it's up there. The main reason he's been so popular is because he's got a, um, a channel on YouTube here called Cartoonist Kayfabe. If you haven't heard of it, it's a big, huge comic book channel. They look at comics from the nineties. They look at wizard magazine, which was published in the nineties. And, you know, I, I grew up in the nineties. It was a great time of my life. You know, I have a lot of nostalgia for that. So obviously I gravitate toward these videos. Some of the videos I liked the most that they would do was, you know, somebody would send them boxes of comics and they would be, you know, uh, blind items. Who knows what it would be? And, you know, you just see weird stuff or they would go to these, uh, you know, quarter bin sales where they would buy comics for a quarter. They'd fill up a little short box of comics and, you know, just go through and show what they got. And, you know, just normally you just see all kinds of stuff, weird stuff, you know, you've never heard of. And I, I always really liked that. Now, uh, if you go to the Cartoonist Kayfabe channel and listen to any of the videos they do, um, Ed Piscor is with another man named Jim Rugg. Jim Rugg is uh, kind of buttoned down, and I really like him. He, um, you know, uh, Piscor kind of had a little bit of an affected personality where, you know, he's a little larger than life. And, you know, and, you know, Jim was a little more, you know, uh, just uh, even keeled, you know, just down the center, you know, and um, I've probably that way myself, as you can tell by talking. But anyway, um, I enjoyed their uh, videos. Now, I will say that they, well, not Jim so much, but Ed would use, you know, bad language every now and then. And again, this is a Christian channel. Normally I deal with end time stuff. I'm convinced we're getting close to the end. I think in some ways this is probably, this story is probably in some way an exemplar of it. But you know, it's like that thing. I I can't remember who says this, but it's, you know, like the uh, maybe oh, it's, I think it's John Heller who says it, who, you know, um, sometimes every problem, you know, to a hammer or yeah, to a hammer, every problem is a nail, something along those lines. I guess I'm guilty of that, too. But anyway, I'm getting off the point. I wanted to talk about Ed Piscor. Ed Piscor was 41 years old. I'm 41 myself. Um he was a great comic book artist. Again, I did not agree with his use of language sometimes, and I didn't agree on, on some of the stuff he did. You know, he had a comic book called Red Room, which was a a uh, uh, like a horror comic. And, you know, some I never did buy it. I haven't read it. But some of the images I see are just pretty bad. I know he had a clown, you know, with a upside down cross on its head, which, you know, every time I'd see it, I'm thinking, you know, is this necessary? You know, but. Anyway, long story short is uh, Ed has dealt with a canceling situation. And comic books, if you're not aware, comic books are the, um, you know, they're, they're like the uh, front lines for just like the woke mob, the social justice warriors. It's it's pretty pathetic. And, and you know, sales are in the tank. It's, it's just ridiculous. And that's really, in fact, that's one of the reasons I like the cartoonist cafe is because, you know, they're looking at stuff from the 90s that, um, you know, not, maybe not necessarily was politically correct. And, um, you know, now some things, uh, they looked at, you know, were not good and should not, you know, are things I don't want to be involved with, but, you know, some, some things I, I did like, you know, just the fun action adventure comics, uh, superhero stuff, you know, just, you know, just, this is just the type of thing you'd listen to, you know, um, and, and just enjoy and, and seek out things that you never heard of. Uh, one of the things I admired about Ed was he was, um, he had a good work, work ethic and, you know, that's something 
you know, I've been praying about and, I, you know, Lord, help me with this. Uh, you know, I think I have a tendency to be lazy, although who doesn't, you know, but, um, you know, I admire it. You know, he worked hard. Uh, he was prolific. And by that, I mean, you know, he was producing a lot of stuff, producing a lot of books. And he also did the YouTube channel. He was very prolific with that. They were putting out a video every day. Anyway, he had a young lady come forward who said, oh, you know, he he um, he was grooming me when I was underage, you know, uh, so I would have a relationship with him. And, you know, he was immediately canceled and cancel culture. I mean, it's just gotten out of hand. It really is. And I, I hate to say this, but I feel like any other people are saying this without without any hesitation. But, you know. Ed Piscor had a. Um, he had a uh, gallery uh, thing that was coming up. I think it was supposed to be maybe start this week or next week. I don't know when it was, but you had somebody kind of wait to ambush him with these allegations, you know, right before the right, right before this happens. And, you know, so his, his art gallery is canceled. And I think probably the thing that I felt bad for him the most, you know, he'll talk about his parents. He'll talk about his dad. You know, he talks about him with a lot of love. You know, there was a video I watched on YouTube and it was a uh, local news video where a uh, an anchor or a reporter went out to Ed's dad's house and, you know, knocking on the door. And, you know, he kind of says angrily, you know, Ed's a good boy. He's never done anything wrong. And you could just tell you could just hear the hurt. You can hear the pain in his voice. And, you know, it's one of those things that's really I don't know what, what, how to say it, you know, um, it really humanizes the situation. It shows you who these people are and that this is not just, you know, this is not something in la la land. These are real people. I have a dad. You have a dad, you know. Um, and this is somebody who had had a, who who was very successful in the, the industry as far as, you know, he was a skilled artist. He had books that sold and he also had this great YouTube channel. And. You know, you had someone basically target him, you know, like, oh, this is a good time. Let me. And, you know, I see this this phrase a lot, you know, clout chasing. You know, I, I've wondered about this, you know, like what what's the deal? And it's like, you know, the impulse is not so much, a, um, you know, right and wrong. It's more of a like a, you know, let, let me take somebody down. Let me let me have this, you know, head up on the uh, on the wall. You know, let, let me have a trophy. Let me let me accomplish this. And uh, I hope I'm trying, I'm trying to say, you know, what, what's going on here? How do I feel about this? And it, it's just, it's just sad. It's just really, really sad. Basically, you know, he posted a suicide letter on Facebook, you know, everybody, and you saw a lot of stuff. And then, you know, later on they say, yeah, he, he was found dead and he had committed suicide. And uh, again, it just bothers me deeply. Um, I have been praying for this. I've been praying for Ed Piscor. Um, since this all came up. In fact, well, no, I've been praying for him for a while. Honestly, I've been praying that he would get saved and that, you know, uh, you know, bind this, you know, bind Satan, loose the Lord on him, open his eyes, show him the truth, you know, send the laborers across his path, you know, work up the ground of his heart. sow seed into that heart, you know, fertilize that seed, water it, get it sunlight. And, and so that it sprouts, takes good, solid, firm root, producing salvation. You know, in Jesus name, I've been praying that for a while and I've been, pr I, you know, I was wanting to write to him and say, hey, Ed, you know, this is a bad situation. But, you know, there's hope, you know, um, you know, do a comic about this, you know, about this experience, you know, about what's going on. You know, just, you know, hey, retreat, get out of this limelight, you know, do do your comic, you know, uh, crowdfund it, you know, crowdfunding comics are huge. That's, you know, basically anybody that's not, you know, on the. Um, you know, on the liberal front lines of just uh, craziness, mania, you know, they have to fr uh, crowdfund their comics. You know, the uh, kayfabe guys have done that. He could do it. You know, Jim Rugg had done this. Anyway, I think it's just a, a real tragic situation. I mean, this is something that we've all watched. We've watched, you know, um, you know, these accusations come out. You've watched the reactions, you've watched the self-righteousness, and then here we are. A man is dead. Is this going to be enough to end cancel culture? It should be. Now, I've seen a lot of people say, you know, should we go after the girl and things like that, that, that made these accusations? I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not for that, although I don't think that she's, um, 
I, although I do think she's at fault to an extent, you know, um, you know, cause I mean, obviously she waited, you know, th- this was, this is all about, you know, uh, Hey everybody, you know, look, look at me. Let me, let me take him down. Let me, let me, um, uh, you know, let me put myself over at the expense of somebody else. That's a wrestling term, you know, I guess in term with their cartoonist kayfabe. But I mean, this, this is a sad, sad, sad thing. Um, and I've also seen people say, oh, you know, we, we can't blame the girl. And, you know, I, I don't 100% agree with that. I mean, she is at fault to an extent. I mean, and again, you know, she waited, you know, waited to, to make these accusations, waited for like an opportune time. And then just everybody piled on him. Now, did I agree with everything Ed Piscor did? No. Did I agree with some of his persona? No. But, you know, watching the show, you can you can tell it's an it's an affectation. By that, I mean, I mean, it's something you put on. It's an act. That's not the real, real thing. Um, I've been praying for him. I've been praying. I don't know if he was saved. Or, I mean, watching the videos, I mean, you know, they would say things about Christianity. And, you know, based on that, you know, it, it, it did not sound like he was saved. I pray that he came to the, to the Lord before he did what he did. And I've. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what the answer is on this. I really don't. But I'm praying if he wasn't saved that that the Lord would have mercy on him. You know, there's no getting into heaven without appropriating the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross. There's just no way around it. You know, and, and we wanna we wanna say that you know, all ways are ways to God, but that's not the case. Why did Jesus come if it always were ways this is just a sad deal and i hope it changes things i hope it changes things i hope i've said something that would i don't know shed light on the scenario lord help ed lord help his family this uh little uh this this uh comic book panel that you see on the screen if you are not a comic book fan if you haven't watched this show this kind of encapsulates it you know it's jim and and ed and you know they're talking and you know the the uh caption for for ed is you know 11 rockets klaus duotone uh you know they're, they're always talking about duotone duotone is duotone which i'd never heard of before of course i've seen it if you've ever seen the uh the old old school um ninja turtle comics like the first uh, first Ninja Turtle comic, for example, it I think there's Duo Tone in it, and it's that kind of thing, like that kind of black and white. But you know, they're always talking about Duo Tone, um, and you know, a lot of those comics that they would go through that I, you know, weird stuff. You know, you'd see Duo Tone. They'd always point it out. That's always kind of a fun thing, and it was one of those things that was done, you know, kind of during the uh, black and white, um, you know, '80s do-it-yourself, self-published boom that that uh, kind of resulted after. You know, Turtles was such a hit. But um, anyway, um, you know, just a terrible, terrible thing. Terrible thing. God help us. Come soon, Lord Jesus.